thrilled. It was worth it. It was so good. It was so, so good. <laughs> coming back at you with another video actually a part two to a video that you've already seen here before last week so if you are coming back here thank you all so much for your support Diz nerds thank you so much for those likes comments subscribes and sharing hitting those alerts to make sure that you can see the follow-ups to these videos and if you're new here welcome thank you so much for coming on board I would just like to say to you that this is actually a part two of a previous video I had last week so I would invite you to go watch that video first just so this video makes a little bit more sense and is a little bit more fun for y'all but on top of that if you're now coming back here you're checking this video again thank you all so much let's hop into part two of Disney's ABC's Get to Know Me. I had so much fun last week with my family and my friends going down memory lane and really seeing what were their favorite memories in terms of Disney and myself. There were so many to go through and I can tell you guys the first edit of that video was 55 minutes. So it was really like a Disney Sophie's Choice. Here's how part two is going to work just for a little recap. As we saw in part one, I contacted my family and my friends and I asked them two very specific questions. I asked them, one, what was their favorite Disney memory when it comes to myself and Disney? And secondly, I asked them for any sort of random letter of the alphabet, whichever one they chose, I left it up to them. So here's what I need to do for part two. In terms of the letter that they provided and the memory, I have to try to associate them two together with a memory of my own, a trinket, a merchandise, so that you can kind of see that from the flip side and my perspective of what I wanted to share with this channel and yourself. So let's go ahead, get this started. Let's go get those clips rolling so we can get this ball going. L. My first memory is you making me go to movies. Like, I'm not waiting until they're out on my feet. <laughs> I brought you to your first Disney on Ice show, and it was the Frozen <laughs> one. Again, that was my lovely friend Blair, who did choose the letter L and did associate a lot of memories to obviously our movie going. So, on my side of things, I was thinking of the letter L, and I obviously came up with Loungefly because I actually did start a recent collection of the Loungefly bags. And so I thought in terms of a bag that encompasses maybe the whole like movie experience, you know, the history of movies, you know, the history between her and I, I did choose this Loungefly bag, which is the Pixar 25th anniversary that showcases a lot of the favorite and classic characters from uh, Pixar. So we have the characters from Up, we have the characters from Wally, we have Monsters Incorporated, we have Heimlich on there, and of course we have Buzz and Woody, um, who again is one of my favorite movies in terms of Toy Story. But I do believe it is from Hot Topic or Box Lunch. So I think it's a fine collection in terms of, you know, really showcasing all the Pixar characters that have come out over the past 25 years. Thank you, Blair, for choosing the letter L so I could go down memory lane with you. And I will definitely make sure that when we are actually able to go back to the cinemas, to the movie theaters, that I do bring this bag as kind of a little memento to um, this experience that we did together. Thank you. C is in Cameron. That was my friend Cameron, who I have known forever and it was so nice to go down memory lane because we have you know 25 years worth of memories he has just been the most supportive friend over the years and so i thought it was fairly ironic that you know he chose the letter c which of course is his name but more ironic that he chose the classic movie cinderella as one of his favorites because he's kind of been a little bit of a fairy godmother to me in a lot of different ways and i assume the same vice versa because we really really have each other's backs so the memory that i associated to letter C was actually something that you've seen already in this video, 
which is the Cinderella wand. So this is a wand that you get at Cinderella's royal table at the castle. And this is a banquet experience that you would get at Magic Kingdom, where you go inside the castle, you would meet the different princesses, and you definitely get this wand where you perform some magic with the princesses and the fairy godmother. So as we can see here, it has a little star on top. It's the classic Cinderella blue, and it does say Cinderella's royal table on it too. I had such a fun experience. I think it's definitely something that everybody should do at least once because it is fairly pricey. Um, but at the same time, I went with two of my girlfriends and we just had such a blast getting to meet the princesses. We met Ariel and Jasmine. We met Aurora, I believe. And of course we met Cinderella, you know, sitting at the tables overlooking Magic Kingdom. So just think about that magic um, that you create through those experiences. And thank you, Cameron, so much for allowing me to showcase this. I'm gonna go really hard on you. The letter Z. Oh, I hope I didn't make it too hard for you. Watching Toy Story 3 together. My friend Christina tried to be a little tricky, and what she tried to do was choose the letter Z and associate it to a memory of ours, which was Toy Story 3. It was such a fun experience, and that movie is just iconic for all the right reasons, as I'm sure you all are aware of, you've seen it. And so to me, Toy Story means the aliens. They're one of my favorite characters, and with the letter Z, we have the evil villain in Toy Story 2, which is Zerg. And lately, what Pop Funko has done is they have released a collection of alien remixes. So it's basically the alien character dressed up in a costume of one of the characters from the Pixar movies. So as you can see here, we have the alien in the costume of Zerg and it is just so much fun. I am a Pop Funko collector, so I do make sure that they are in their boxes unless I know for a fact that I'm going to keep them. I'm pretty much gonna keep all of them. It's just that this one I thought was just so precious that I needed to put it inside a Pop Collector, keep it in their boxes. So all my Alien collection and most of my Toy Story collection are inside their boxes or I at least have the boxes to the side. So thank you, Christina. It actually wasn't hard at all because I thought of this right away when you said the letter Z and I thought it was perfect because it matched up to the memory that we have. Hey. A, what's happening? And they're like, oh, nothing. Just like my sister is about to give birth or something. And I was like, what? So as soon as Anthony mentioned the letter A, the first thing I thought of was actually the trip that we went on together, both him, myself, Christina, and Jonathan, who are showcased in this video. We went back in 2017 to Berlin and London. And in London, we are huge musical geek fans as well. And so we decided uh, among, you know, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which was the main reason why we went uh, to London and others, is that we did go see Aladdin. So we went to go see Aladdin, the musical there in London. It was so much fun. There's always an experience that's had at those Disney musicals, whether it be on Broadway or elsewhere, just because there's tons of kids around and there's always some sort of funny story that comes out of it. But specifically for the show Aladdin, what I did as a souvenir is I purchased the souvenir book, which just kind of showcases a lot of the photos from the show and just to make sure that, you know, you can remember the experience. And I will never forget that trip, Anthony. I will never forget that experience. And we had tons of fun. I believe you even purchased this too. So that was another reason why I associated. So A for Anthony, A for Aladdin. V. So basically V as in, uh, V as in victory or V as in villains. Yeah, you ran, like you like, you like ran like Speedy Gonzalez. Jennifer, my sister is next. And Jen came up with some of our family inside joke kind of memories. So the ones where she ran away from Alien Encounter and me hurting my neck as I was looking at the manta rays. Um, so we have so many funny experiences from our time at Disney. And she came up with the letter V. And automatically when I think of the letter V, I think of villains. I think it's fair to say that for myself, 
ever since I grew up, I was very much into the princesses and the happy fairy tale ending and whatever the case may be. But as I've grown up and we started adulting a little bit, we start relating a little bit better to the villains um, or at least have a little bit more fun with the villains. And when I think of villains, there's so many that I could have brought up. There could be something in terms of Ursula or Hades or Yzma or just like, you know, the classics like Ruel de Vil and Maleficent. There's so many things that I could have gone on with. And Hades is one of my favorite villains. So I was thinking, do I go ahead and bring out my lounge fly bag, the cosplay bag with his face? I've already showcased in a video. So I'm really trying to have the intention to make sure that a lot of these are new products they have not seen yet. So when I go ahead and think of villains, there actually is two things that I want to bring up. The first thing that I wanted to showcase for the letter V is something that I feel I haven't really shown on my channel yet, which is my love of pins. So I thought, why not go ahead and showcase one of my favorite pins, which is from 2019, which is the Oogie Boogie pin uh, from the Halloween party. And it's a jumbo pin, which I hardly have um, a lot of. So I thought this was a really cool find that I found through Facebook, through one of my Facebook groups. And I'm just in love with this pin so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show um, a little bit closer to camera so you can see it better. Wow, this pin is massive. And as we can see, Oogie Boogie is dead center. He is the mascot of the Oogie Boogie bash that they have at Disney's California Adventure every Halloween. And he is surrounded by all the fun villains. So we have Hades, my fave. We have Dr. Facilier. We have Evil Queen. We have Ursula. It's just awesome. Halloween is one of my favorite seasons. It's one of my favorite seasons to go to Disney. I love the party so much, but I have yet to go to the bashes in Disneyland. So I need to make sure that that is on my bucket list and this pin is a great reminder to do so. The second thing quickly I wanted to showcase for the letter V is actually this villains bag that I picked up at my 2013 trip. Um, the reason why I love it so much is that it has a phantasmic theme to it, and it does showcase a lot of the villains that are on this. The reason why this is such a great memory for me is because this is the bag that I bring to every vacation. So whether it's down south, going to Cuba, Mexico, Dominican, whether it's going to any place that has like a beach or anything where I might need like a really good shoulder bag, this is the bag for it because it is huge. It is big enough for two towels, a water bottle, and you know, your sunscreen. So um, I always tend to bring this bag with me just because it is just so cute. And it's Fantasmic, which is my favorite show of all time at Disney. Um, and one that I cannot wait to go see. Because to me, when I think of villains, I think of them all together. I don't think of one specific one. And this is one of the favorite bags that I do own. I'll choose the letter F. Do you think you're special? Oh. Because you're not. <laughs> special. As for special. My friend Jonathan brought up a super funny memory from the primetime dining experience where we had an experience with a waitress who was super sassy with somebody who said, do you think you're special? Because you're not. And we just kept repeating that over and over again the whole trip. We still do, as you can see. So when Jonathan brought up the fact about the letter S and the word special, I automatically thought of special edition. And I was trying to think of what's the most special edition product that I have potentially in my household. There is a lot of them, but the first thing that came to mind was a DC23 exclusive of Ursula, who is also my favorite female villain, but also one of my favorite animated movies, which is The Little Mermaid. As you can see there, it has the sticker for the D23 2019 Expo. So it already makes it a super huge collectible item. And I did make sure that I wanted to keep it protected. It is for Little Mermaid's 30th anniversary. So I thought that was also really special. It's metallic and I got a really good deal for it. And I think she just looks gorgeous. I mean, look at that face. And she has Flotsam and Jetsam there inside it, all sassy. She's just so 
chef's kiss. The other reason why I wanted to showcase this pop is not just because it's for my love of pops. I have such a huge collection here and not for the simple reason that, you know, it's a special edition. It's the one from the DC 23 Expo. It's for the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. I mean, I could go on and on as to why it's so special, but at the same time, in terms of Jonathan, the reason why I'm connecting it to his memory on top of the letter S is because he bought an Ursula mug. So I thought whenever I thought of the word special, yes, I have tons of things that are special edition, but what was something that Jonathan actually bought from the trip? That is why I wanted to make sure that I chose this item because it is really a true reflection of the trip that I had with Jonathan and his love of Ursula. So S, special edition, the Ursula special edition pop from DC 23. P. P, so P as in Pamela. You know what's ironic is that everybody's doing the exact same thing. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Your phone covers. And I think that's where we uh, started talking about your love of Disney. So with our friend Pam, between myself and my boyfriend, I've gotten to know her so well over the four years that I've known my boyfriend. And she's talked about her love of Disney and how we got to know each other and one, iconic thing that she said that she saw right on the spot was obviously my phone cases. They were always Disney. So for that reason, I just wanted to show off a couple of my past phone cases just to show what she's talking about. I always have Disney phone cases. I don't have anything else. It's just Disney. But with the letter that she chose P, I didn't actually decide to choose the phone case. I just wanted to show them just based off of her memory. But to me, P means photos. It means memories. And so when I think about, you know, going anywhere, whether it's Disney or going to a movie with friends or going on a trip, I am always that guy that's always going to be taking photos as annoying as my friends hate it. I always find it very important for us to kind of have a little, you know, nugget of, of a memory in terms of that photo and what it means to us. And as you kind of saw in previous posts, you know, collages, photos, pictures, I always love to do something with it, whether it is to frame it, whether to do some sort of art project out of it. And I did want to showcase one of my favorite photos from my past trips at Disney, which is actually this one of me and Mickey Mouse. So this is one at a meet and greet that I believe was at Epcot. And what I really enjoyed was he was trying to have so much fun with the camera and the taking a selfie as if he didn't know what was going on. And so what he went ahead and did was went closer and closer. He made me laugh so hard during that experience. It's one of my favorite memories in terms of the meet and greets. And I do have a frame for that reason. So I will make sure that I put a, a close up of the shot so you can see it a little bit better. So P for photo. Thanks, Pam. Next up is my mom, Mary Poppins movie, which was the first movie you watched over and over again. That's when you became a true Disney fan for life. My mom, of course, came up with a lot of those childhood memories where I fell in love with Disney magic and movies and more specifically in Mary Poppins. I love the penguin dance. I just love the magic, you know, of Mary Poppins flying with her umbrella. And what I wanted to bring up when I thought of the letter that she chose, which is the letter L, I also wanted to think of what was something else that gave us kind of a magical experience as a family. So the thing that I am going to take off my ears for is the Lion King. So with the Lion King, we are a huge family. This is actually my boyfriend's. This is his favorite. He's going to hate me for this. Um, but <laughs> in terms of our family, I, I can only think of the Lion King in terms of it being such a huge movie in our lives growing up. And I remember the day that my mom actually bought it as a VHS, which was very uncommon. We didn't buy a lot of movies growing up. I mean, we did have most of the Disney movies, but I remember the day that she came home with the VHS and me and my sisters just grabbing it, running it downstairs, watching it and just falling in love. And also to the point of thinking about a magical experience, aside from just watching that movie, because it's honestly one of the best Disney movies of all times, um, is for the simple reason that we did also go see the Broadway show together. So this is a hat from the Broadway show itself when it came to Montreal. And I just remember us just being so in awe of this amazing and brilliant and creative and magical and just transcendent show um, that, that, that just, you know, 
was amazing. And my parents have always been the type of people who brought us to go see a lot of shows. We were very lucky growing up where they brought us to go see, you know, Cirque du Soleil and a couple of Broadway shows. And as well, The Lion King when we got older. I mean, obviously we paid for the tickets ourselves at that time. But when I think about The Lion King show, I remember being on the aisle and the elephant coming by and the elephant uh, ear touching my shoulder as it walked by. And guys, it was like shivers. Like I almost just wanted to immediately start crying. So when I think of the letter L, I had to think of our experience going to the Lion King, any sort of Disney magic, and that's the way that I'm linking them together. So thanks mom as well for making us go down memory lane with, uh, with that. S, yeah. as in Stitch. Yeah, what did I get myself into? <laughs> And last but certainly not least, we had my boyfriend Jay who went ahead and chose the letter S. Of course, we've had a lot of memories over the past four years and specifically to Disney. I can't wait to create new ones with him when we go to Disney World, hopefully in September 2021. Cross our fingers, guys, that's going to be safe before then. But when it came to letter S, it wasn't really that hard to choose. I, I, I think S uh, stands for Stitch. <laughs> Disney nerds, we're done. Thank you so much for sticking around and getting to know me with this part two of Disney's ABCs, Get to Know Me. And again, I wanna provide a huge shout out to my friends and family for participating in this, for having some fun with me. This was not just a video for myself. It really was also meant as a love letter to my friends and my family and all the memories and, and trinkets that we hold dear in our heart. I hope it allowed you to get to know me a little bit better. And if it did, and you did like what you were seeing, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit those alerts to make me aware of, of what you really enjoyed here. Please feel free in the comments down below to showcase what was your favorite item that you saw here today, what was your favorite memory. If I did make your day a bit more magical, please make sure to pay it forward to somebody else who may need it. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for staying guys and watching. Bye Disney.